Hello everybody, welcome to game two of this epic round of 32 match, the official live cast. We've got Nabolo with his Skaven up against Diomed with his Necromantic. And um, Diomed won the first game 3-1, so he has the advantage in this match. He only needs a draw to progress to the round of 16. Nobolo has to win this and he's won the toss and elected to receive. So there you go. Hello all of the trolls in chat. I've got too many trolls in chat. I might have to start banning people. They're my admins as well. <laughs> no, it's not great, is it? <laughs> not I less than ideal, you could say. Right. Um I can tell you about these two coaches very briefly. Um, Diomed is Russian and qualified through the Season 4 official playoffs. And Nabolo is French and qualified from the Lutes Cup. Also, I am told that Nabolo is the proud former record holder of 56 games unbeaten on tabletop. Um, that The record for... Highest unbeaten ever is now held by Sol, um, who you may know from the Super League, where he loses more than half of his games. Um, and he went 59 games unbeaten on tabletop. So there you go. That's, uh, that's a pretty cool stat, isn't it? <laughs> and, um, will the Roger get stuck immediately in foul the death? Yep. Um, very standard build here from Nabolo. He's giving up the leader and then replacing the Apothecary with a reroll so he doesn't lose reroll opportunities. Diomed's the got the very strange build of a wolf. Only one wolf, not two wolves. And uh, a block ghoul wrestle. Like, you know, two block and a wrestle I think is fine for the three positionals. Um, Dave will like three block. I mean, three block or four block if you can get all four positionals is completely reasonable. But um, I, I, I don't mind a wrestle there. And then obviously four guard. I think four guard is the best. But it does leave you slightly open to bad dice punching with the flesh golems. And it also, you know, does mean they're knocked over 75% of the time if they're two dice rather than 55%. But then the fact they've got guard is incredible, isn't it? So it is what it is. Um, so there you go. Thanks, help. Tell somebody what the prediction is, please, because there was a prediction that was ended the other day and nobody knew what it was. <laughs> so, yeah. Does the Roger get room from the pit and tie again? Okay, Nabolo versus Diamond. Right, I mean, it's definitely going to get removed. <laughs> it's definitely going to get removed. Well, maybe not, but they're normally removed. The Rat Ogres are normally at least knocked out at some stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's mad. It's mad how consistently Rat Ogres are removed. But I, w I wonder if you could, you could, you could ch plot a chart between Rat Over removals and victories. Um, I'd imagine the games where Rat Ogres aren't removed, they win, right? Imagine the Skaven tend to win games where the Rat Ogres aren't removed. Time bank for setup, yep. Nabolo goes 17 seconds into time bank. Diamed, it says 2, but it's still 7.5. This is a tough match. This is a very tough match. Um, Diamed on Necro is a formidable coach, maybe the best in the entire competition. And, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, Nyaga, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is this is tough. I mean, this is a really tough ask. And he's got to win. Not only is he playing Diomed with kind of a counter team to Skaven, right? I mean, pretty much the, the thing that makes them less of a counter is he's only got the one wolf. Normal normal Necro with two wolves are a counter to Skaven. But with only one wolf, he's not as much of a counter. Because he just hasn't got the speed to chase down the, uh, the gutters, right? With only one. Wherever he goes, the other gutters can go the other way. So he's got a time 
committing the wolf perfectly with only having one. So it, it is more skill intensive having one wolf. Which is why I prefer two wolves. Oh, well there you go. The Rat Ogre's made a removal. Instant. Most reliable big guy in the game. Well done, Rat Ogre. You're the best. Does get a pal. Leading it to it getting clawed next turn and instantly removed. <laughs> if I were to guess. <laughs> if I were to hazard a guess. I guess he wants to beat the LOS, right? Mighty blow hits. Punch the LOS. Maybe remove a flesh golem. And Bolo did make 13 casualties in his group games, so maybe he just wants to remove everything. That's certainly the best way to beat Diamed, is if you just remove half his team, right? If you don't remove half his team, you're going to struggle. He does get the 75% knockdown, and it is an AV break. It's funny, right, because... If I was Nobolo, I'd think I need to get lucky to win this game. Maybe Nobolo is supremely confident and doesn't think that. Um, but, you know, <laughs> confidence, is it good or is it bad? Dimi thinks it's good. I don't think Nobolo should be confident here. I think he should be terrified and therefore he should be playing it accordingly, right? He needs to take, needs to make high risk plays, I think. I think if he doesn't make high risk plays, He's just simply going to lose, so or well, or draw and go out. Right, he's going to go out if he doesn't if he doesn't play a high risk, high reward plays. That's what I think. Now I could be wrong, and I could you know, and he could be right to be confident. Maybe he's not confident. Whatever it is, um, it is Aurelensis, and we we saw it a lot of times in the group stage. People just you know didn't try aggressively hard enough to get the victory that they required. Because it is, it is hard to admit that to yourself. Yeah, it is. It really is. And uh... <laughs> yes, Salakas, and it's only my opinion, right? It's only my opinion. It's only my analysis. It doesn't mean that my analysis is correct, or you know, his analysis could be correct. I mean, it isn't he's, he could have the same analysis as me, right? That that rattle blitz sure looks like he has. <laughs> that rattle blitz sure looks like he's made the same assessment as me. But um, like that's the thing, isn't it? You just don't know. You don't know what people's assessment of the equity is. Um, so there you go. You know. I was trying to zoom out to keep the keep the ball in in field, but it's not there, is it? It's up here. The ball is actually moved in, and we'll just forget about this side stepper. <laughs> we'll pretend he's in the Olivier Delac spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Well, they're scaven. They move nine. I don't know where they are. Fortunately, the ball doesn't really matter, does it, in Blood Bowl? For most of the time. I think the sidestep was to cover the pickup, right? I think it was to cover the pickup, and then he picked up with the other one. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't really watching. I was trying to say where they were from and what league they'd qualified from. <laughs> And then talk about slivers of equity. Nope, he did leave. He did leave a three gap there, didn't he, on a power? So he, he went over to protect the three gap. But then he's left a three gap here, right, you know, an infinite gap if this guy gets knocked over. So. Is the right side trap space? We're about to find out. The problem with these games is this is the thing I said it about the Wood Elves, right? Like I remember Purple Goo giving me trap space in uh, UKTC, and uh, I knew it was trap space, but by the same token, it was the only space I was ever going to get. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, at the end of the day. 
it wasn't that good trap space from him because it was literally the only way I could get any space. So I'm like, well, okay, you know, I've, I've got, I just got to do this. And if it if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I don't, I didn't think he had to do that because it was the only way I was getting anything. As it happened, of course, I snaked a rush and uh, lost, surprising everybody. Well, it wasn't actually a rush, it was a GFI, wasn't it, that I snaked? Um, which is different, because now, of course, trap space it actually isn't quite as good, that kind of Wood Elf strategy of, like, you know, leaving the cage at the limit of your movement, because now, of course, you can make five rushes in a turn, and it's fine, because you can pump in all your rerolls to make sure you don't double... Well, I mean, not, you can't make sure you don't double fail, but you can... Sh you, can you can make sure that you don't... fail the initial roll twice, right? Whereas with the old one reroll a turn, making four rushes to cage was mental, basically, right? Because you only have one reroll for four. Whereas now you've got four rerolls for four rushes. So it's. You, you might still dub skull, like double one, you might still snake, but you can attempt four rushes in a turn with a high percentage chance. Whereas before, it was pretty suicidal. But again, if it's the only thing you can do, it's the only thing you can do. Now, this is there's a lot of options here, isn't there? A lot of options. I wonder how Diamond will play this one. Yep, this is live. Very exciting. We saw the first one live. What I'm going to try to do is, if we see the first one live, I'll, I'll endeavour to do all of them live. If we see the first one as a replay, then it will be downgraded in priority um, but then I'll still try to do like the decisive games I've got a feeling this could be a decisive game but we don't know you know at the end of the day Nabolo has gone 56 games unbeaten on tabletop and he did top his group easily so you know um, this is certainly not an auto win for Diomed Yes, Christopher B. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. But that's the truth. Oh, so he does get stuck, the wolf. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, the first game... The first game... Uh, it wasn't at all, was it? It wasn't at all. Uh, I, he made a mistake, Nabolo, but, you know, you can make mistakes, can't you? Doesn't mean I'll make the mistake again. And uh... no, it's not like you know. It's not like he's rubbish or anything. <laughs> but the fact that Diomed only needs a draw now, right? Like, if it was, if the first game was thirty forty thirty, then now Diomed becomes seventy percent to go through, right? So like, it's pretty huge. The fact that now Nabolo needs the win, right? So like it is, it is huge winning the first game. That that adding that adding the draw to your win results is pretty strong.
No. Only a stun. Sorry, there's things happening here. Cast the sidestepper. Sorry, yeah, sorry, that was that was terrible. I didn't realise that was terrible, but I got a I got a message from one of the bosses. Wow, he cast the sidestepper with a zombie block. Probably uh shouldn't have uh based anything. <laughs> oh my god, and this guy's in the front and this guy how did this happen? Oh my god. Oh my god, Nabolo's just instantly under the cosh. He only stunned the roger as well, so... Oh! Zombies removed. <laughs> hey, Ori Lenses, if you want to try and commentate on 107 games in three weeks, um, you're welcome to try. It's difficult, and then I'm getting messages on Discord there that I had to respond to. So, um, there we go. Right. Nabolo got the quick score. And uh, now Di that sets up Diamond for the 2 1. However, as Nyaga correctly pointed out, Nabolo did get the strip ball, right? So, um,. Last half, so you know, so things can happen on the offense, but I'd imagine that you know, Diamed's pretty happy and confident right now. Diamed won the first game 3 1, yeah. Um, was it 3 1? I think it was 3 1. And uh, yeah, the rogue is standing tall, yeah, he was only stunned. And the the Skaven already down to ten, but they do have all three re rolls, and they're feeding gutters. Yep, no KOs back, or uh, <laughs> or for Diamed either, <laughs> but his is irrelevant. Yeah, no one turn attempt. I wonder if. Um, Nabolo has studied Diomed's one-turn defence and has an answer for it. Or, whether Diomed will give him a different one-turn defence this time. Um, thinking about that. I wonder if the other Wood Elf and Skaven coaches have watched this game and seen if they can answer Diomed's one-turn defence. Well, I wouldn't say almost impossible, but certainly difficult, Dementor. I mean, it, it it made it impossible for Nabolo because he didn't even try. But he could have had a... I mean, he could have tried. He could have done it if he'd done the right moves. But working out was not easy. And I would probably only back uh, Kerfog to work it out in the heat of battle. And yeah, the sidestep's a big one. Big, big, big win for surviving the one turn for Diomed or Cosmigo. Right, like I'm watching the game now. They've pushed. That's all they've done. One block. That blitz. He's going to have to make a blockless block here to keep the ball safe. A blockless block. Yeah. That's the obvious answer, isn't it? Fit in the uh, Zombo. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. This is it's looking bad. It's looking bad for Nabolo. But he did get the strip last game. So it might happen again. Um yeah, yeah, not the best block dice. And Nabolo won the toss, chose to receive. Banged it in in three. Got a good runner cast. And yeah, not looking uh, not looking fantastic, but he knows he has to win, right? So he knows he has to get the turnover on one of the drives. So he's given himself the chance to get the turnover on each drive, right? I do like having the annoying players on the end of a big line. So then, you know, it's not great to blitz either of these two. Could hit these. Yep, instant dead side stepper. I reacted fantastically to it. I, uh, I you know, the, the amount of hype was incredible. Um, <laughs> most exciting player call you've ever seen in your life, basically. Or just mighty blow Skaven Blitzer. No need to activate the Roger. <laughs> I didn't even notice it had happened. <laughs> I literally didn't even see it happen. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. There we go. They're just conservative. Beat off the zombie and uh, see what happens next turn. Yes, indeed, Jeff. Yeah, it's it's been interesting how much the people needing the wins haven't played for the win enough for, in my opinion. Glorious talk, talk him out of, by the way. I did, I did see that, but I didn't see Roy because I was on the other screen, but fantastic. And uh, hello, Jeff. And hello, everyone else. I haven't said hello to. <laughs> Look, there's nothing unfamily friend friend. Easy for me to say. There's nothing unfamily friendly about beating off zombies, right? Like at the end of the day, that's that is that is what you have to do. <laughs> They're not going to beat themselves up. <laughs> you know. You've got to, you've got to step in and make it happen. <laughs> okay, so now a big wall of guard and zombies and stand firm and sidestep and this is uh, a lot of problems. Maybe it's too many problems, right? Maybe, maybe there's a weak link in this. All of this. I mean, there's an obvious weak link, which is uphill into uphill into one dice on the ball. <laughs> Wait, no, two dice on the ball. Oh, no, he's stand for. Yeah. So you can uphill him and pow him, and then uphill him and push him, and then he can one dice blitz the ball. Now, that's obviously not very good. But <laughs> things are bad for Nabolo. So, hello PC. Um, Diamond won game one. I 
I think he won 3 1, but the scoreline doesn't matter. The important thing is he has the win, he has the advantage. You can't see that he has that advantage through a lovely graphic, but if there was a lovely graphic, he would have the advantage on said lovely graphic. Yeah, Necro are a pretty good counter to rats, yeah. Um, you know, they've got the stand firm and the sidestep for the one turn, and they've got wolves to chase down gutters. But they've, he's only got one wolf, so he's not as countery as he could be. Necro are a monster team, honestly. Monster team. The, the problem with them is, I feel like... You can just get banged out versus a bash team and lose, right? That's the problem. That's the problem. You play Orcs with seven guard, and they beat you up, and then you lose. All these are men, whatever. Um, but versus Elves, they, they seem pretty strong, yeah. Whoa, glorious Steve, that is almost, that is almost my favourite year. <laughs> true, true. But the thing is, like, elves, elves can still win after they get banged out by, by bash teams, right? I do prefer two wolves, yeah. Yeah, I do. Again, because this is more skill intensive, right? Like, like it's, it's like the Spartacus one, you know? It's like the Spartacus build with the... The only three block and then the two guard and it's like well yeah okay that's great if everything's in the right place but if it's not you know or things happen it gets worse so that's the problem here if he loses you know he's really got to protect the wolf right he's really got to play well to make sure nothing bad happens to the wolf um and also not get lucky right not get unlucky like, like the it's the two the two things go kind of hand in hand right like if you just get unlucky, like you know, look. If you get unlucky in any of these games, you're going to struggle. Obviously, right? Like people are good. The main way you're going to lose is by somebody getting lucky. No, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Like if if it was one ghoul and two wolves, or three ghouls and one wolf, I million percent choose three ghouls and one wolf, right? But I feel like all you're getting extra is a zombie. It's just not that good. Exactly, exactly, PC. That's the thing. So it's like, so if you masterfully use the wolf and don't get unlucky, maybe this is better. But, you know, in the same way as maybe this... Ooh, this is, could be huge. That was a, He was a 1 in 9 away from absolute abject disaster then. That was a huge 1 in 81 block. Maybe it could have been a blitz because, I mean, I guess 1 in 81s. You shouldn't be afraid of 1 in 81s, should you? But, like, this is the thing. It's just, it's just tough, right, because... The main way you lose is by getting unlucky uh, at the end of the day. And I, you know, I, you can't really mitigate that. The problem is you can't really mitigate it. Yes, you can mitigate it on ladder and at NAF tabletop events and stuff like that, right? But <laughs> when everybody you play is really good, you can't really, you know, if you, you, know, if you get unlucky, you're probably going to lose. Yes, it does. It does feel a bit like Woody's with only one more dancer, yeah. A bit. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, the thing is, right, if, let's say, Diomed is better than Nabolo, for argument's sake. If Nabolo's luckier than Diomed, he's got a very good chance of winning. Even if, you know, like, because there's not, like, a gulf between them, is it? That's the thing, right? 
there's very few people, even in this entire 64, never mind the 32, where, like, there just isn't a gulf. Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, okay. Thanks, Al. Yeah. You, there's no... Yeah, you, you don't have that gulf in team development or coaching skill that would enable you to, uh, to make up for a huge disparity in dice. See, we see people not take the tree, though, right? We see people not take the tree, but the, 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 in not getting the tree, they're, like, getting an extra reroll or something. Like, if Diamond got an extra reroll for downgrading the wolf, absolutely. If you got, um, if you got an apple, you know, like, if you got a magical necromantic apple, then fair enough. I just feel like he's not getting enough. Like, I think the, the, the 13th pillar isn't that good. It's not terrible, though. Like, you, you know, it does get, make him better at fouling, and it does... Stop, you know, like stupid knockouts. You do, you do lose players with only AV9+. plus. Okay, well, he's definitely not going to stand firm, is he? Or maybe he will. No, he can't. He's got Juggernaut. <laughs> errata, errata. So this is a 2 into a 1. He didn't stand up his guard first. Gets the push. Wow. Yeah, he's obviously not going to use stand firm because he can't. He's got Juggernaut. So he's got the Roger on the ball. Things can happen. Another dodge is nice. I just don't think it's enough, right? I think... It's funny because I think a rookie ghoul is just straight up better than a rookie wolf. Honestly. I do think a rookie ghoul is better than a rookie wolf. But... Um... You know, once the wolf gets block or wrestle, it starts to pull ahead. Okay, well, this is a very, you know, Olivier Dulac, Crystal Hunter style turn, isn't it? Everything's going in. The old man's contact try and make something happen. So this is the thing, Dimmy, like in, I mean, when you're just comparing it player for player, right? If you don't take costs into consideration, I'd still think a dodge, move seven dodge is better than move eight claw and AV nine and regen and frenzy. Honestly, I think the dodge at rookie is better. I do. Because it, it, having such an unreliable frenzy hitter is really quite bad. But giving the block is massive. So, yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty good. He's got one guard stuck over here. One guard is downed. One guard is stuck over here. And then the other guard is the one who wants to hit. This guy's taken out. This guy's taken out. Wolf's alone. I know what I'd do, but we'll see. We'll see what Diamed does. I know what Dimmy would do as well. Just straight hand off to that zombie. Get the, get it on the best ball carrier. He's going for the surf. Yeah, I like I like just going for the surf here. Yeah. Try to get in a bit tighter here, might as well. Injured. Fwa. Yep, I like it. I like it. He's doing the right thing, isn't he? Oh, okay. It's not what I would have done. 
<laughs> I mean, he makes a Kaz. I'd have hit him with a fleshy, right? I'd have hit him with a fleshy. And then you can block there and put a guy there to punch him. Don't say it's over. I mean, it's really not over because the, the, there's still a roller in contact with the ball here. I guess if you if you push it, then it's got surrounded by guards, isn't it? And it's in contact with a blodger. But he has to re-roll it to get the push, and then he gets to hit it with the other one. Does he? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I actually quite. I think I preferred my way, which was make this block come in and then bl block the uh, right. I'll go with a wrestler. Oh, but now we can foul it, right? Now we can foul it. I, don't know. I think I think stranding it was better, honestly. I do think stranding it was better, but he broke AV, so this definitely works. Well, I say definitely works. He might just get stripped. He might just get stripped instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But there's not really anybody left to do anything with it. <laughs> Two Kaz gutters and a surf gutter. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look. Cosmigo, go with me here, okay? We need to build hype. It's exciting. It's brilliant. Anything can happen. <laughs> Woo! Flip me, guys. Who's going to win? I don't know. <laughs> yes, they can always reach. It's stupid, isn't it? That, I just do it because I just think, I know he can reach, right? It doesn't matter where it is, like this square. You're like, you know he can reach. But it's fun just to count the squares and find out how like how easy it is. It's always kind of crazy, right? You just pick any square and then you map out how you'd get there with like least dodges. And it's like always kind of crazy how how kind of easily you can get there. It's just It's just mad. Like, like, what was that? It's like a 2 plus 3, a 2, 3, 3 or whatever? Like, it's mad. The problem he's got now is... The ball sack is kind of pointless because he's got nothing to recover. But it is turn 7 for Diamond, so he has got a fair distance to go. So I guess he wants to try and switch to try and play in conservative now. And somehow get something back and screen at least a little bit. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's rats, right? So, it's hard not to, like, you have, you can't just try and turtle this half, because then what if you, what if you don't score next half, right? So, he had like a six turn drive. We'll see, like, and also, like, it helps there's no players left now, right? Now he can be a bit more aggressive, pushing for this, knowing that um, there's no 
counter score on is there at all like there's no counter score on here so now he can go crazy whereas the second half there'll at least be two gutters so now you can you can just roll all the dice this turn right you can you can get uh you can make sideline cages and stuff and you can do what you can do whatever he likes here Does get the scoring threat in nearly instantly. Is this a rush for this guy? Yeah. This square's a bit annoying for the fleshy, right? Because you would like to make... Oh! Wait, he was there. One, two, three, four. I was going to be the same anyway. You'd have liked to have put that guy in there, like this zombie, just for the fill. I guess he's just got to go there and punch, right? But this is a rush. Blitz. Not blitzing with him. Nice. Ah, so, mm, but now. He's just going to double rush. Nah, I don't think the rats will be one turning. <laughs> Oh, he blitzes there so he can foul the roger again because he's got 13 zombies, right? So. Oh no, he's not fouling. He's just leaving him. Blitz the zombie and tag the mighty blow, yep. Yep. I, I was just thinking foul the roger. But. This is more sensible to secure. Secure the tutty. Yeah, the cops are always coming around this neck of the woods. Yeah, yeah, he's in Chun's column, isn't he? Oh, that's a good point. So what he could have done is probably made the cage one in and then done the rush to blitz, which would have pushed this guy away. Well, maybe he should have done the rush. Mm. No, not really, is it? Maybe he should have done the rush. I guess he is going to go for the hope, hope for the chunts column bounce. Fails the dodge in. Ooh. Do we try to surf the gutter runner? <laughs> I wonder how realistic it is. Rogue it down, but now, yeah. No, he's not trying to surf the gutter. Dave or Wood. <laughs> but this is more sensible, isn't it? Three dice with block. Yeah, it's very possible to surf the gutter, and it's the strip gutter as well. Like, it's no joke, surfing the strip gutter is really good. Uh, it's 1-1 one, one, though, he was 1-0 down, Jeff, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still looking good, in it, to be fair, the KOs fail again, so now he's down loads of players, eight players, 
but not on turn. I don't, maybe, right? Maybe. <laughs> it's pretty tempting, honestly. Like, I know it's just the injury chance. There's an, it, it, it's possible. It's possible that this. It's possible that the surf is correct. But he's oh actually okay. Errata here. Diamed is on two three seven time bank. So I think based on time bank, let's just get the touchdown and not spend time thinking about something that doesn't really matter. Right? Even if it is maybe technically correct to surf him. Um, it also might not be and uh you've got to think about it expend mental energy on it maybe it's better just to write it off right simplify things yeah i think it i think it it was maybe correct to go for but i think it's fine in the situation you know, in complete control versus eight players, only two gutters. Um, but limited on time bank. Because what happens if Nabolo plays another great turn in the second half, puts you in loads of trouble, and now you've spent like 30 seconds of it trying to figure out how to do that surf, right? Yeah, I think you only had one reroll left. I mean, you would stop if you burnt the reroll, right? Like it, the problem is the like. So the only cost in going for the surf is if you actually fail, like uh, you know, a one in nine or whatever. Uh, well, a one in eighty-one. But you know, you would stop once you use the reroll. No, no, I think you've got to carry on the block. Like even though you're going to get stripped, I still think you just have to carry on the block. Well, all men's LOS, let's go. Absolute all men's LOS. Roger, very close to the ball. Yep, I mean, it absolutely sucks, but he needs to go high variance now. He's definitely only winning by getting very lucky from here on out. Oh, uh, dedicated fans do not add TV, no. There's a removal. Not one of the critical ones though. The critical ones are here and here. Oh, he's going to surf that gutter. Oh my god, he, this, this strip ball has surfed. Oh, what a disaster. What a disaster from Nabolo. I didn't even, I didn't even look and pay attention to it, but that was a big boo-boo, wasn't it, from Nabolo. Because that stripper is the primary way to get the ball. And he's been three diced into oblivion. There you go. Great decision by Diamed not to surf him <laughs> on turn eight. Just surf him on turn nine. <laughs> All men's all worse. Not looking quite as good. <laughs> but yeah, that was... I mean, good spot by him. Good spot. I wasn't even looking for it. I was just thinking how to deal with all of this. And uh, that was it. That was definitely the answer. Doesn't get the pal. It does look pretty GGE. Obviously, you've got to reroll the pick up here because ball on the ball on the ground is his only chance. Don't risk a rush because one in thirty six is his only chance. Yep, down to one gutter. Absolutely obliterated. 
obliterated Nabolo. Wow. <laughs> Nobs don't get short hands, do we? <laughs> yeah, ball sacks aren't good unless it's like a rat or a double dodge. <laughs> This guy can run around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, if he just rolls, if he just rolls one higher without re-rolls with a blitzer, then he can uh, one die. Oh, this guy can run all the way around as well for the assist. Then he can two dice blitz him and pow him, and then the then the gutter can run. Like, like honestly, it's all he's got, right? Like it's literally all he's got. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, hope for a six. Yeah. Yep. Agreed, Tokamada. It's stupid, isn't it? It's absolutely stupid. But what else does he have? Oh, well, he can rogue a hit. <laughs> but not blitz. No, oh, he gets a push. Reroll in, another push. So he could go for just for the straight five plus now, right, with a lino. Oh no, it's a six plus. No, that's terrible. So he hasn't blitzed. He's not. He's thinking of the wrestle, and he fails the one in nine there, and. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty brutal, isn't it? Oh my god, instant AV break. Not a removal, though. Very exciting for those people who, who are partaking in the prediction. Run away from the roger. I don't think he'll foul now, actually, because he's got the stun. Now we can like double tag him with zombies or whatever, and uh, and just hunt gut the gutter or whatever. Blitz, does he? Is he just not gonna play? He's got to. He's got to hit the cutter in the end. Oh my god, he doesn't. Not blitzing. I mean, the last one could have definitely been a blitz, right? And then uh, seeing what the result of the AV break was, and then moved him somewhere different, maybe. But yeah, this is. I mean, it's basically over, right? Because even if Nabolo gets all of his players back and one turns, a draw is not good enough because Diamond won the first game. So, as much as Elyod hates saying it's over, this is pretty close to over. Yes, Darth Pointy, um, I shall be back on at 8 o'clock UTC to do the replay of Jonesy versus Alan76, I think, is the game at 8. And then at 9 is my game.
live with commentary from Dimmy G, the champ, and Fimir, the uh, Blood Bowls, Antonio Banderas, <laughs> and uh, and then at half ten I'll do two more replays of Frankie versus Slade Black Mage. Like five games total today is all right. My game versus Gorgo Bay, Dark Elf Mirror seems like it's going to be very dicey, unfortunately. I had a kind of a kind of practice game versus Chunter where I played absolutely terribly and still got a draw, so that was that was encouraging. Only a stun. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? <laughs> no, Antonio Banderas like was in was in something. What was he in? There was a movie. Oh, was it? Was Antonio Banderas in that movie with uh, Spider Man and Marky Mark? You know, you know that one that was kind of recent. A kind of recent one it was it was like old man Banderas in that, and he just sounded exactly like Fimir, Uncharted. Thank you, Christopher. Yeah, Uncharted. He just sounded exactly like Fimir. <laughs> we were like, is Fimir in this movie? <laughs> particularly, particularly old man Banderas really sounds like Fimir. I think. No, oh, wow, he uh, rolled a one on the blitz there, the roger, most reliable big guy in the game. And now, now it's over, right? Now you know it's over. And yes, technically you can roll some dice and they might succeed, but screw it, you know. You can't, uh, you can't blame people for kind of like giving up here, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh dear. Another one. The rogue is not going to get removed, is it? The, f the funniest thing about this game is the rogue not being removed. because nobody can reach him right that's so he can't get to oh no he, he can get touched okay well he can get touched okay it's so that he can't get hit he could get uphill if he wasn't sudden the thing what I don't like is that is honestly is uh, is if he doesn't break AV but he did so it's all right and now that's uh, three gutters cast and one surfed, and that's how you beat rats. Simply remove all of the rats. <laughs> Simply remove every single rat on the pitch, and uh, and you too can win. But it was more than that. Like I, I do think you know a diamond positioned well. You know. I think Nabola was aware of the situation of like how tough it was going to be and you know did play very aggressively which you know didn't didn't help 
his overall match odds, but helped his win odds, right? Like, he, he was going to win more, but lose more the way he played, which was what he had to do. Diamond won the first game, disgruntled Orc, so he will, in fact, be through if this ends the way it is. Yes, this, yeah, no, Nabola had no choice. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he did, you know, Nabola did the right thing. It was uh, tough. Right, how about that for the for the thing? This will be two 0 yeah. He did, he did quite a good turn there, Nabolo, didn't he? Actually. The thing is, um, Diomed can just uh, score, right? <laughs> like, he doesn't even care about this. He can just score and he's 2-1 two, two, up. And then he can draw. No, I don't, I don't think they do. And the thing is, Nabolo not not only has to stop him scoring, he has to go and counter score, which he doesn't have a counter scoring threat at the moment, realistically. Diamond not going to foul. Or maybe he'll foul with a Wraith. No, he's not going to foul. Oh, no. Rat Ogre removal predictors in tatters. He's like literally the only guy who hasn't been removed. <laughs> the Polo's team annihilated. 
<laughs> and the rat auger remains on the pitch. <laughs> Brilliant. Mr. Page did win did win against him, yes. Yes. And kind of had to, almost, after the first game being a loss. He might just eat this, right? Because it's turn 15, yeah. Man, Glorious. the rogue is going to survive. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Can't believe it. And I will defend. I will defend. Rubbles for Jimmy. Fwa, thank you very much, Ali. Yet he's staying fantastic for 59 glorious months. Nearly 15 who will be the pregnancies. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, what a result. Four, Diamond. Unbelievable, Jeff. No. Oh. Gets the nothing. <laughs> and does follow. Stands him up. So now he needs to. I oh, know he has nothing to do anyway. He failed. He failed this. Roger. So there's actually no way for Diamond to uh, lose right now. Naf should not. I mean, Naf doesn't like decide the tears, right? Um, even though a lot of tournaments tend to follow the same kind of things um, they should absolutely not be tier one there's no way on earth they should be tier one they should absolutely be at least tier two i mean they should probably be tier three but they should at least be tier two i think dwarfs should be tier two so oh my god and obviously tier tiers depend on event by event like there's no like naff rules it's it's weird isn't it it's weird tabletop's weird there you go, 2-1. Diamond should actually let him one turn now, right? He should set up so that other people don't um, <laughs> don't get any ideas how to one turn against him. <laughs> no, I asked them to do something like that and they're like, no, it's not our job. Or maybe I asked somebody else that, that they should do that and they're like, no, it's not their job. So, whatever. I was like, then I should do something like this. And people were like, no, no, they shouldn't do anything like that at all. So, all right, fair enough. The rogue has not been banged out yet, help me. He could go for the one turn, and he could dub skull into self cars. So, <laughs> there's still time. He can't. Can he score here? No, there's no way he can score. There's no way he can score. He just doesn't have enough players. Also, it doesn't matter if he does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's funny, isn't it? Nabolo got all of his good dice at the wrong time. He got them in the group stage. He made 13 cars, he made 10 touchdowns. And the draw for the final phase, he got diced because he got the literal, I mean, one of the two worst draws he could get, right? The worst draws he could get was Diomed or Devo in second place. He got Diomed, so he, he was terribly unlucky there. And he's been pretty unlucky in the games as well. So, um, you know, as, as great as Diomed's played, um, he's also had the dice in both of the games. And, yeah, absolutely brutal for Nabolo. Easy money. <laughs> I 
this was game two. Um, it's if you, I mean, so this is game two. You can see the green on the side there is advantage diamond. This is going to be the thing that I do maybe at the top there. I think that's good enough. Fits in with the UI, doesn't it? I mean, I guess it could be like a line under the name. Could be a thing, right? Could be like a line under the name with like advantage. Something. He did a pass instead of a handoff. Uh, it doesn't matter, he can't score anyway. Yeah, fighting game game style health bar. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> this is a perfect for Diamond, by the way. Two wins out of two. Um, and there you go. Diamond becomes... Well, maybe becomes... I don't know, there might be in live games that I've missed. There might be games that I've missed, but... Um, essentially, Diamond becomes the second player through. I haven't updated it, I don't know why I'm showing you. <laughs> but there it is, it's, uh, it's at the top of the bottom half. The very top of the bottom half. I shouldn't have done that, I'm sorry, I do apologise. But there you go, um, he wins. Congratulations, Diamond. Absolutely bossed it through to the. Uh, well, through the round 16, let's see who he'll face. He will face. The winner of Jonesy and Allen 76 is who we will face in the round in round two. So um, there you go. Um, congratulations, Diamond. Commiserations, Nabolo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.